In this video, we're going to look at adding a secondary axis to an existing chart. So at present, the chart's been created comparing sales against expenditure. We're now going to add a secondary axis. So I'm going to go back to the chart data. And I want to add the percentages to the chart. So I'm going to highlight the percentages, copy, go back to the chart, click on the outside of the chart, so you've got little dots around it, paste. I've now got a series three, so I've now found the series three for the secondary axis. So I've now got, a, and now I've got the series three, I need to activate the series three, which is now in the chart. So for this, I'm gonna to go to the chart tools area, and I'm gonna to go to the format area. So format and the chart tools, Underneath the arrow where you've got chart elements in the top left hand corner of the format tab, I'm going to click the drop down arrow and I'm going to choose series 3 to activate it. So I've now got little dots from the bottom of series 3. I'm now going to format the selection which is just under the chart elements and I'm going to choose secondary axis and there's a secondary axis. I can now format this secondary axis. So with it selected, I'm now going to go to design, change chart type. And I want the series three down the bottom here to become a line chart. So I'll just use a basic line. And now the series three has a line against it. I'm going to click OK. With the secondary axis in place, I've now got percentages. I can highlight these percentages and format them. If I want to turn the home tab, make them bigger. So I can now see the percentages. The only thing I've got to do now is change the series three heading, which is on the design tab. Select data and series three can be changed by clicking on it and editing the option. So edit. Go back to my chart data and click on the heading, which is percentage of total sales. OK. I now have a chart with a secondary axis and a heading which accompanies the secondary axis. So this demonstrates how to create a secondary chart axis and add a heading to the chart itself. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.